Howdy everyone, my name is Griffin Furlong. I'm a professional engineer in the state of Florida. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a few WaterCAD tips and tricks that I have. Now we're gonna be building off the last video. So if you haven't seen the last video on my tips and tricks of labels, annotative text, and color codes, I highly suggest you watch that previous video. So let's dive right into some other tips and tricks. So here we have the model that we built from the last video and I showed you guys how to set some annotative text here using the element symbology dialog box. I also showed you how to color code the system. Now one tip that I'm going to show you how to do today is how to create prototypes. So what is a prototype? A prototype can be found in the layout tab all the way to the right here in prototypes. Now a prototype is something that you're going to build that you can use later on. Right now, when I'm developing all of these models, it's using a standard default setting uh, for the pipes, for the junctions, and all the reservoirs. But let's say if I wanted to lay out a certain type of pipe, let's say a 10 inch PVC pipe at all times, you can create the prototypes over here to do so. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right now, if I were to just lay out some pipes here, I'm gonna show you how standard this is. So right now, if I double click that pipe, it's going to be laying out this standard six inch ductile iron with the Hazen Williams of 130. Well, if I'm not using that in my project and if I know I'm going to be laying out a whole bunch of different types of pipes, I can build a prototype. So let's go back to this prototype dialog box. Here, I'm gonna to go to pipe. I'm gonna right click new and I'm going to give this guy a name. If I know that I'm going to be laying out a whole bunch of eight inch PVC, then I'm going to create that prototype. So I'm gonna go double click the prototype that I just created and start filling out the information. So here we have the diameter, which I wanna make eight. And then I'm gonna do this dialog box to go to the materials library. And I'm going to find PVC, if we can find it anywhere. There we go, PVC. And see how it has the roughness coefficients, Hayes and Williams, I'm gonna select select. Now dependent on your county or jurisdiction that you're designing these pressure pipes, you know, they might have a particular Hazen Williams C factor that you have to use. Right now, I'm just gonna use 150. So here we have now built the prototype for an eight inch PVC. And you can continue doing this by just creating more and more prototypes. I know in this system, I'm also gonna have some 12 inch PVC and I can double click this guy, start changing the values here. So now I've created that prototype. Now, whenever I'm laying out pipe, it's always gonna be using that eight inch PVC until I tell it otherwise. If I want to change my prototype for what I'm laying out, you can simply right click and say make current. So now any type of pipe that I lay out will always be a 12 inch PVC pipe. Now just to confirm, let's check it out. Let's double click this guy. And in fact, we are using a 12 inch PVC. So we built a prototype for pipes. Now let's build some prototypes for the junctions that we're using. So let's go to junction, new, and let's say if I wanted to lay all of these out with a certain elevation, maybe if I know that all of the elevations are gonna be 50, let's actually go and create a prototype for that. So if I know that all these elevations are gonna be 50 and I don't feel like manually changing this every single time, I'm gonna go ahead and just add 50 right there. That way, every junction that I now lay out will be at an elevation of 50. So if you double click that guy, you can see that we have an elevation of 50. I wanted this to be a short and sweet exercise. I hope you guys learned something new. I am here for all WaterCAD tips and tricks. In future videos, I'll also be diving into StormCAD, ICPR, and AutoCAD. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I will make sure I will answer. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.